Larson, and I'll be reading from Susan Patron's The Higher Power of Lucky. Chapter 1, Eavesdropping. Lucky Trimbo crouched in a wedge of shade behind the dumpster. Her ear near a hole in the paint-chipped wall of Hard Pan's found object Wind Chime Museum and Visitor Center, she listened as Short Sammy told the story of how he hit rock bottom, how he quit drinking and found his higher power. Short Sammy's story, of all the rock bottom stories Lucky had heard at 12-step anonymous meetings, alcoholics, gamblers, smokers, and overeaters, was still her favorite. Sammy told of the day when he had drunk half a gallon of rum listening to Johnny Cash all morning in his Park 62 Cadillac, then fallen out of the car when he saw a rattlesnake on the passenger seat biting his dog Roy on the scrotum. Susan Patron is a fine writer and a very kind woman. She once gave me her own ergonomically correct pen when I had a sore thumb so I could autograph books pain free. When she wrote this scene in The Higher Power of Lucky, I think she was sending a message to her young readers. The message was, I will tell you the truth about hard places, like the desert, and about hard things, like being abandoned by a parent, and I'll do it without talking down to you. Sadly, many readers have been unable to meet Lucky and the other citizens of Hard Pan, California, because, of one, because one anatomically correct word, derived from Latin, has kept the book from some library shelves. And that is the saddest thing about this censorship, because while it takes a lot of scrotum to be a writer these days, it takes even more to be a kid. The Higher Power of Lucky could be the book some kid really needs to read.